<sighs> this is the reef bot or the robot that's currently testing my tank automatically. I can automatically schedule this to test my reef tank whenever I need it to. And if we open this up right here, we can actually look inside to see exactly what it's doing. Now the ReefBot is an automatic testing device and it tests the parameters in your reef aquarium and even a pond if you have one of those, but it tests your aquarium automatically. You can set schedules up throughout the day and it tests for a lot of different parameters. Now I know there's other devices out in the market that test calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, or the big three, but the main reason I have a reef bot on my reef aquarium is that it tests for a lot more than just those three. You can test for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. So if you're cycling your reef tank, you can set it up to test for that. If you have a freshwater application, you can test those parameters as well. It also tests for things like uh, pH, phosphate, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, of course. So there's a variety of different tests or parameters that you can test for using a reef bot. So if you're tired of manually doing tests or maybe you don't have the time to manually test your tank as often as you would like, you can get a reef bot to automatically do that for you. You can have it scheduled out so that it's testing the aquarium while you're on your way home from work or just while you're away from home in general, you can test your tank from anywhere using the ReefBot app. Now the ReefBot that I have on my tank, I've had for a couple years, this is like version two of the original ReefBot, but Reef Kinetics has come out with their ReefBot Lab. And the ReefBot Lab is a bigger, better upgrade of the original ReefBot. It has a whole new design with new mechanics that offers enhanced performance and faster results. And like I mentioned earlier, there's 12 reagent slots. It holds more so you can test more. There's a brand new actuator, uh, that's faster. It supports a higher resolution titration test. Also the way you access the reagent, there's a new mechanism that allows the needle to reach the bottom of the vial for maximum reagent usage. I know one thing with the original reef bot, it wouldn't use up all of the reagent, uh, but also there is a reset button that was added to give more flexibility and control over the lab operations. Now in the reef bot that I have, you you get eight 20 milliliter vials that the reef bot uses to determine what test it's gonna take. For example, I use the salifer alkalinity test in my reef bot and that uses two vials or two slots. And I'm also using the Red Sea magnesium test kit and that takes up three spaces. So I'm using a total of five slots for two test kits in the current reef bot. But in the new reef bot lab, you get 12 spaces for your testing vials. Now, if you're considering getting a reef bot for yourself, use the code, the coral reef talk. And what that's going to do for you at checkout is it's going to save you $50 off your reef bot lab, but it's also going to upgrade your vials to the 60 milliliter vials. So that's more reagent that you can put in the 60 milliliter vials, which makes your automatic testing last longer. Okay, so we're back here with the reef bot and I'm gonna show you how I run a test. I have the app open and I'm gonna show you the best that I can here. You notice the alkalinity there, that's my latest result and my magnesium. That, those are the two test kits that I currently have in the reef bot. Kind of been changing things up. I had uh, calcium and nitrate and pH running in there. I took those out and I've been uh, changing things up. So I have the alkalinity and magnesium now. I know I probably said that a couple times, but one thing to know is you can schedule your test or you can do a manual result. So if you're manually testing something, you can put it on a graph there. So that's always neat. Or you can come in here and schedule a test and you can uh, name what test it is and select a start date and time. And if you want it to test hourly, or if you wanted to test weekly or monthly and you can set the times here. So like every hour, every two hours, four hours or so, and you can change that however you need it to. But for now, I'm gonna show you an example of a test. So we're gonna test the alkalinity. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit test right there. And it says test now for alkalinity. And if you have multiple brands, so if you're running more than one alkalinity, you'll see that here, but I only have Salford in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click perform test. It's gonna say that you successfully submitted the test. So we got the green indicator lights that it's gonna be running a test. And then you can see, of course, the RODI. So you have the RODI jug here. We have one for the waste and one running to the tank. Okay, so if you have a test running and you go down to the bottom here to activity, you're gonna see that we have a Salifert um, alkalinity test in progress. So going back out to the dashboard, you can see my alkalinity readings right here. And when you click on that, it shows you the graph. So this is every time you test something in your reef bot, you're gonna see it on this graph here. And then this is the colors that it's looking for as far as how it's reading those readings. And so if we click on a point here, so you can see I got the reading 10 and a half on that day, and you can see how it went up to 11.2, and then 11.2 over here. And we're gonna get the reading from the reef bot back for today and see what it is. But you can plot the trends. You can see the trends in your reef tank of what's happening right there. Okay, so when setting up the reef bot, you have a line going to a container of RODI water. You have a line for wastewater, and then you have a line running to your aquarium so that it can pull your aquarium water for the testing. Now inside the app is where you're gonna tell it that the RODI container is full and that your waste container is empty. And then the app is gonna monitor that. So as it runs tests, it's gonna let you know how low your RODI is getting and how full your waste container is getting. And it can send you alerts as well. So, okay, so I dose calc wasser into my reef aquarium. So sometimes the alkalinity will fluctuate. That's why you see the 11.2 and the 10 and a half. But the reef bot just finished the test that we're doing now. So let's go ahead and check the result. And if we look at the app, you can see here that we are looking at a 10 and a half. ReefBot did its job. I'm loving this thing. I mean, having a robot automatically test your reef tank, I mean, it can't get much better than that. Don't have to worry about manually testing certain tests every single week. Now, if you're a little bit skeptical about the ReefBot and is it giving me the results that I'm looking for? Is it giving me correct information when it comes to testing? How can I trust this robot testing my reef tank? Well, one way you can do that is by testing against it, right? So you manually test your alkalinity, for example, get a result from there and then test at the same time with the reef bot and see if your results are the same. So don't forget, use the code the Coral Reef Talk at checkout when purchasing your reef bot lab. You're gonna save $50 and get 12 60 milliliter vials, which is an upgrade from the 20 milliliter vials. So you get all that when you use the code the Coral Reef Talk. So if you'd like to watch this video here, I know you're gonna love it. Go ahead and click or tap your screen. Thank you so much for watching this video about the reef bot, and I will see you in the next one.